Hey guys. Okay. <clears throat> Week two of school module is up and running. Okay. Okay. Now listen, I emailed, I don't know, about 30 kids between both classes yesterday. And I know what's happening for some of y'all. Okay. Um, and to those of you guys who like could like explain things calmly and respectfully and like we could troubleshoot things dude y'all are golden thank you because i know what some of y'all are looking at now as opposed to looking at what you should be looking at okay so i'm going to show you what's what's happening with some of y'all okie dokie but first <laughs> so you know on your student information sheet you have these four questions at the end of table one I've already had two, not one, two of you sweet little angels who've emailed me and said, um, in your video, you didn't answer this question. Wait, where's my mouse? I don't even know where my mouse is. This question or this question or this question. <laughs> Smarty pants. Okay, so we're gonna do that real fast. And then I'll show you why some of you are maybe falling behind. Look, I'll show you. Okay, so the first question here that I didn't answer, um, what do you think you want to do with your life and why? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm happy. I'm doing it. Um, I didn't actually plan on being a teacher. I actually, like my degree says museum studies. It doesn't say history. It doesn't say teaching. None of that. It says museum. It says museum studies um, because I really did want to be a historian. Um, I wanted to, I wanted to be like the person who figures out what historical artifacts are. I wanted to eventually be like a curator of a museum. I kind of fell into teaching um, in 2002, my first year, because a teacher from Lee, who I knew from Lee, um, was a principal at Midland Freshman and she was like, Cheryl Lynn, we need a world history person, please. And I was like, oh, okay. But pretty quickly, I, I love teaching. I, I, I've said this before. I actually like you guys. I like teenagers. Um, when people are like, oh, I couldn't teach teenagers. I'm like, why? They're cool. Plus, I really love history. And I have like the greatest job ever. I just tell stories and act everything out with y'all and discuss with y'all. It's just, it's fun. So what do I want to do with my life? I'm, I'm doing it. Okay, this right here, this question that you said I didn't answer. Why have you chosen to teach this class EAS or AP? Um, originally, I didn't really have a choice. They came to me, I don't know, I don't know 15 years or whatever ago, and they were like, uh, Cheryl Lynn, you're teaching pre-AP. And I was like, what? Uh, what? Because they didn't have AP for world history back then. Um, I was like, okay. And I have just continued doing it. Um, I don't know. It just works. And I really like intellectualism. So I love when you guys are thinkers. I love that. Okay, I did answer this one in my video, but this one right here I didn't answer. Um, what is one thing you want me to know about you? Um, I, I think the biggest thing that I would hope that people would like, I don't know, know? This sounds so cheesy to say, but it's true. Don't judge a book by its cover. Um, I know I don't look like a rule follower. I am. I know I don't look like a typical teacher. Um, and I don't, I don't throw this information out a lot. This is my 19th year teaching. I've won like 10 teaching awards. Um, I've won the CARE Award at Midland High so many times, I don't even know how many times. Um, I'd have to go and count all my little plaques. The CARE Award is a student voted award. Um, it's like the kids vote on which teacher. Um, I don't even know how many, six, I think, times. Um, I think it was 2007 at Midland Freshman. I was teacher of the year. 
and then I think 2008 or 2009, somewhere in there, I don't know, I was teacher of the year for the whole city of Midland. And then the very next year, I was teacher of the year for the whole region, for region 18. Um, and I went to state, but I thought I didn't win. Um, and then moving up to Midland High, I think it was like 2012 or something. I was teacher of the year for Midland High. And then um, not last year, not COVID year, but the year before. So whatever year that was. Um, so two years ago, I was veteran teacher of the year for the whole city of Midland. So I know history and I know what I'm doing. So I would definitely say, don't judge a book by its cover. And you two kids that nailed me on not answering these questions, smart eye, I like it. Okay, Canvas, now y'all listen, because I know what some of y'all that are like, wait, I don't understand. I know why you're doing that. Okay, here's your Canvas page, okay, for my class. Um, EAS, it looks just like this, it's just a different class. I'm in AP right now, but I'm not gonna make two different videos. It's fine, it's still the same thing. Okay, look, when you look at your dashboard over here and you see what's coming up, okay, it only gives you graded assignments over here or practice quizzes. So like the practice quizzes, um, that's your attendance. So when you look over here and you see attendance, I know you don't see it right now, you will um, tomorrow or whatever, today's Sunday? Yeah, tomorrow, um, that's over here. And you also see things that are coming up that are due, okay? Look right here, you have a quiz, AP. You have a quiz, Friday. Um, if you try and click on this from your student view, you're not gonna be able to click on this. And I'm gonna get a whole bunch of y'all that are like, I can't click, click on the quiz. I don't even know what the quiz is over. That's because these are only assignments. Um, if you go to the calendar, my calendar is usually up here. If you go, okay, if you go to the calendar, it's also only going to show you assignments. Don't look at this. This will tell you the due date, but see, you're missing the whole rest of everything that you need. And I kept having kids that were like, I don't know where these videos are that you say. Like, like whenever I click student info sheet, it says, look at the videos. What videos? And I was like, it's right underneath. And they were like, underneath what? I understand why now. See why I needed some help troubleshooting this weekend? Um, because I needed to know what y'all were looking at. If you're only looking at the calendar, and if you're only looking at the to-do list, here we go, over here, that's only going to be your assignments that actually get turned in. But see, most of school isn't graded assignments. You need to actually click each individual class. Guys, you should be going into every single class every day. If you decide to do, I'm just making this up, my class at nine o'clock, every day at nine o'clock, go into my class, whether it's AP or EAS for seventh period, okay? You click on it, there we go, and you see this. And those of y'all that were like, I don't see videos that go with the student information sheet. You need to look at what's actually in here, okay? Because they're right here video one, video two, and they go with the student information sheet. Um, if you're only looking at this stuff over here, the actual like teaching and the actual um, like lessons, they're not over here because this is only the assignments, okay? Here's gonna be the problem. Again, you can't click on a quiz right here unless you've done the stuff before that. So if you're like, okay, I'm gonna take this quiz when it's due on April, April, what? On August 28th, you can't because you have to do everything. That's this, this module right here. You have to do everything before the quiz because you're missing all of this information. This and this and this and this, that's the meat of the class. 
this is just an assignment. The way that these are structured, you have to complete all the items. And that's, that's part of the problem is some of y'all, when you go to your dashboards, you're only looking over here. Or some of you guys also, and I'm glad you told me this too. Do you see these three dots? Some of y'all don't see this like, like I have, like they're, it's called card view like this. If you click these three dots, you see list view. Some of y'all, and it's not going to show anything on mine because I don't have anything, but some of y'all have just a whole bunch of, it's a to-do list. Again, it's just a to-do list. Don't look at things through list view either, because again, the, that's only going to be assignments that are graded. If you try taking that quiz and you haven't done Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday's assignments, you're not going to be able to do well in the quiz. So go into each class, history, math, science, whatever your classes are. Um, daily is really best. Okay. Again, I know some of you guys have already emailed me and said, can I do my entire week's worth of stuff on Monday? And then can I do all of English on Tuesday and my entire week of math on Wednesday? Yes, absolutely. Um, but that's only going to be a few of y'all probably that are going to want to do that. Every day, you should go into whatever week we're in. And again, I have divided things. On Monday, you should find what you need to do on Monday. Expectations video and then the vocab. And then on Tuesday, you'll watch this lesson and take notes. And then on Wednesday, you'll watch this lesson and take your notes. And then on Thursday, you'll have some notes that go with the continents and oceans, but you'll take this little review thing. What is it? Review practice test. Then Friday, you have the actual quiz. But again, if you haven't clicked on these and done these, you can't click on the quiz over here when you're ready to do it. And if you haven't done the stuff previous, you're going to look at the quiz and go, when was I supposed to have learned this? That's why I was telling some of y'all, you need to stay with whatever week it is. Oh, it collapsed it. You need to stay with whatever week we're in and do it based on that. Okay. Um, a whole lot of my assignments, um, especially in AP class, build on things. And you'll have um, like down here, when you get down here to the week of August 31st, you're going to have these documents that you're going to have to do. And this document should be done on Tuesday because it's going to go with this information that we do on Tuesday. This document down here, you should do on Wednesday. It's a Confucianist's view of Buddhism. Well, look what you're doing on Wednesday, Confucianism. So they go together. If you do it in who knows what order, things aren't going to make sense. And one of the biggest things, especially with AP tests, or that was weird English, especially with the AP test, it's all about connections, making connections. Okay, so guys, listen, again, this right here is just telling you do dates. But if you don't take care of stuff the week of, you're going to end up with a whole bunch of stuff due all at once. Okie dokie. I don't, I don't know. I know that that's some people were saying they were looking at this and some people had the list view on dashboard. I don't know that there were any other issues. Yeah, so I think you're good. Just I, I'm telling you all this for every class, for every class, y'all need to be in your your actual classes. Go to your dashboard. There we go and hit your actual classes each day, go in. We also put announcements up there. Guys, when we see you every day in class, it's easy for us to be like, don't forget, don't forget, whatever, right? Right now, the announcements over here, they'll show up down here too until you've read it and then it's gone. But the announcements are over here and you're gonna also see those. So really, truly, you need to try and like, go into your actual class 
every day. Um, I think most people, I'm trying to think what people were talking about. On the, we, I was part of the reentry committee this year, um, which I don't have anything to do with the virtual stuff. That was not me, don't gripe. Um, it's about logistics. Like what do we do on campus once everybody gets back? And somebody was asking about, dang, I can't even remember exactly what it was, but it was about like focusing on, okay, how do we start <laughs> the year teaching this? Because normally I would have you in class and we would spend an entire day. Like I don't have Chromebooks in my room, but I would borrow them from the, the guy down the hall. And we would spend the entire day where I was like, okay, here's how you do your piece of Canvas each week. Because y'all, my class AP, we aren't on Canvas just because it's weird COVID year. Even if this wasn't the weird COVID year, you guys would still still be doing pieces through Canvas. The reason we're using Canvas instead of um, Google Classroom is because dual credit classes have to use Canvas with Midland Christian, no, no, with Midland College. So it's better to have everybody on the same platform than to have AP dual credit kids. Some of their stuff is in Google Classroom and some of their stuff is in Canvas. I would be able to show you this in class regularly. Starting the year this way is hard. So again, for those of y'all who just like helped me troubleshoot and just had absolute beautiful grace. Oh, y'all are amazing. Thank you. And those of you that have already asked about stickers. Yes, I'm getting them out. You're getting them. You're good to go. Okay. Okay. I think that's all. Yeah. So now I'm going to grade. I know I saw that I had some more stuff turned in. Yay. So now I'm going to go grade those. Yeah. Look at that and get you guys in. Right here, right here. Six things for AP. I haven't looked at EAS yet, but we'll get that done. Okay, I think that's it. That's the status. Um, if you have questions, ask and I think that's it. Okay, bye. <laughs>